how's it going guys battle box here that is for this month September and we're gonna tear into this thing and see what it's got I already cut the tape so we don't have to worry about that all right let's see if we can find ourselves there it is so this is mission 19 water purification and storage mind you we have the advanced one so we have basic and advanced and then you can also see what we got with pro and pro plus so anyway let's get to it so first thing we got here is uh, portable foldable collapsible water bag hit sandsport two gallon pvc water bag so Sandsport two gallon water bag. You see, it's nicely collapsed. Won't take up too much room. Take that out in a minute. Get on to the next item here. Let's see, what is this? Hydro pack. Collapsible bottle. That really does not take up any space whatsoever. That's really cool. You can hook it onto your gear there. That's nice. I like that. That's really, really cool. Nice concept. Nice idea. We'll see how big it is. Uh, open her up. See how far uh, it expands. And we'll go to the next item. So we have a Sawyer Mini Water Filtration System. I have one of these. They work pretty well. I don't have the one that comes with this, though. So I only have the, the water filter that you can pump with it's not the the mini I think it's the step above it but a really neat little thing I'm happy I got another one of these never never have enough water purification so let's see what else we got in here what is what is this bottle bright oh is this from yeah it's from these guys so this is a bottle cleaner so that's pretty neat have to see how well that works eventually. Let's, let's see what else we got here. Pure eyes. Water pure purifier drops. I have never worked with or used drops. The ones I'm more familiar with are these. I noticed them in there. These are uh, what do you call them? Water tablets, water purification uh, tablets. Usually take one out, you put it in your canteen or whatever that you're using to even, if you got one of these, you could probably do it. So you get your uh, river water, pond water, what have you, and you put one of these guys in there and let it sit for, if I remember correctly, 45 minutes. Okay, on here it says 30 minutes, but I would wait 30, I would wait 40. Maybe at 30 minutes, give it a good shake, make sure it gets all over the place. Uh, this one, however, never dealt with this, so there we go. Had to uh, do a little research on that. I'll move those over to the side. All right, now we have the Pathfinder stainless steel bottle and nesting cup set. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that out. Get that out and get that out. But first, we're gonna pause. Okay, so I decided to go through a few items at a time here because, yeah, there's a, quite a few pieces to some of the stuff. Anyway, here's our Pathfinder uh, nesting cup set. It's pretty nice uh, stainless steel cup here. Nice lid. However, the one thing I didn't like was this. This was very hard to get with one hand. I actually had to use a knife to pry it up a little bit. You can actually see a little bit of the scratching right there. But it's very sturdy construction. I like the construction. It's very I wouldn't say it's thick, but it's could definitely withstand some heat. We have a nice gauged measurement system there. I don't know yeah, that might wear off eventually over time, but I think it'll be able to stand up for a little while at least. And here's the the cup. The cup actually just sits in there, which doesn't make much sense to me to put 
the cup in the thermos in there because then what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with this? Where's this gonna go? So here's your thermos. It's very squeaky upon opening unless you open it real slow. It's it's an ear shattering screech, so I don't want you guys to have to go through that. But it's got a nice seal. It's uh, definitely a thick, embedded seal. And we have a stainless steel in the cap there. You can tell it's about the same thickness. So it's about the same thickness as the cup. Not much different. So it's a 32 ounce stainless steel wide mouth bottle and a 25 ounce cup with bat wing handles, as it says right there. And stainless steel cup lid with straining holes. So, we'll put that back together and set this over here. We're going to keep this because we have the other, the collapsible bottle that we got. And we're going to use it as a size comparison. And the Pathfinder bottle. Mind you, they both have their pros and cons. This one is definitely built for different uses than this one. This one's to save you space, save you weight, and it's not going to withstand any kind of real heat. So if you're going to be purifying any water, guess what? You're going to be going to these guys. You're going to be using them. Because you're not going to be able to boil in this thing, obviously. So, set that off to the side. And it's not bad. It's actually the, the packing was a little difficult to get off but other than that so far I like the design I like how the cap is the doubled wall part of the cap here and then it's you know a clear see-through bottom and it collapses pretty easily the only thing that really kind of threw me for a loop was I didn't realize that I had to squeeze on the four dots here to pop open the bottom. I thought it was a twist at first, and that didn't go so well. <laughs> so, <laughs> just another example of always reading the instructions. Anyway, we'll get to, we'll put these off to the side, and then we'll get to the Sawyer Mini water filtration system, and the water bag. And this is the Sawyer Mini. So, after some careful reading of the instructions, I have found that this is your cleaning tool. It does say it on it, but I was not sure how to use it. So what they want you to do is use a clean water that is either pulled through here or if you already have a clean water source and force the water through the drinking end depending upon yeah, yeah flow. So or that there we go. So force it back through to clean out the filter of any contaminants and particles and whatnot. But what I thought was cool about all this, we'll set this off to the side because we're done talking about that. What I thought was cool about all this was you could either use the pouch, so you could fill the pouch with water, or you could do the life straw style and hook up a straw to it and then drink out of any container you want. Or drink straight from the source, which I thought was really awesome. So... That's the, the squeeze system, so you can use the bag with the filter, and then you can cap the bag with water for later use, even if it's still contaminated water. Then you can pop this back on there, and uh, you're good to go. So that's pretty much the squeeze water filtration system. I think it's a cool idea. I want to give it a try, and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have the water bag. Two gallon, I believe it was. Let's see here. Yes, two gallon PVC water bag. Now it is a large bag. Here is the 32 ounce Pathfinder cup. You can tell it's rather large. If you're wondering what this little doohickey is, it is a clamping system. It's really neat. It goes on the top here. Feed in to the side. See if I can get this a little bit more focused. Feed in. Eh, it's still not focusing. So you're going to feed it in. Make sure you get the loop around. 
And then you have two little cutouts that are on the side here. On the bottom, I mean, not the side. <clears throat> so you have two little cutouts, or one cutout, I should say. So you have one cutout, and there, there we go. So you have one cutout, this is where you put the loop over, and then the cutout squeezes it all together. So let's see if we can get it to go again. Maybe a little bit of focus going on. Squeeze together, and then it slides right on. So, I apologize for it not uh, focusing well, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. So, that's the bag. It's a collapsible bag. There is... <laughs> this was supposed to keep the clamp secure with it, but all it is is this little plastic piece. It's like what you would use to... Yeah, from a tag gun in, like, a retail store. So, it's not really heavy-duty or anything. If I do decide to do something like that, I'd probably make my own cordage and keep it on there. But, yeah, and then it gives you the best way to use it. So, guys, that was September's Battle Box, all about water purification. I thought it was a really cool box. had a lot of really cool gear in it. I'm going to have to give it all a try because I'm real big on water purification. I like everything that uh, you can do to take stagnant, nasty pond water and make it drinkable. So, see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe in the bottom. And have a good one, guys.